I hand this to the annual bridge. Is that left for me? Uh, yes, it is. Thank you, sir. Here we come. Good afternoon, visitors. The vessel that you see arriving through the Duluth Ship Canal is the Philip R. Clark. The Philip R. Clark was built in 1952 by the American Shipbuilding Company in Lorain, Ohio. She measures 767 feet in length, 70 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She's powered by a 7,700 horsepower Westinghouse steam turbine engine, which gives her a top speed of 14 knots or about 16 miles an hour. She's also equipped with both bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability and force. The Philip R. Clark has 23 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. These cargo holds give her a maximum carrying capacity of 25,300. <laughs>
Aerial Bridge on 16 to Philip R. Clark. The Philip R. Clark Aerial Bridge, I'm just going to start up now for you, Cap. Okay, sounds good, thanks. You're welcome, thanks for the call. John G. Munson, Aerial Bridge. Oh, Munson. Cap, yeah, you just keep her coming, I'll stay up for you. Okay, sounds good, we'll give the crowd a good show. Always a crowd pleaser. Good afternoon, visitors. The vessel entering through the Daily Ship Canal right now is the John G. Munson. The John G. Munson was built in 1952 by the Manitowoc Shipbuilding Company of Manitowoc, Wisconsin. She measured 768 feet in length, 72 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She's powered by a single 8,000 horsepower, six-cylinder Mack diesel engine, which gives her a top speed of 14 knots, or about 60 miles an hour. She's also equipped with both bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Munson has 22 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holes located below deck. These cargo holes give her a maximum carrying capacity of 25,600 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 